I mean, I've watched The Crow, do you know what I mean? So I am kind of goth. Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of South Park Season 7, Episode 14, Raisins. Okay, I mean, last last time it was smoking. This time it's about eating dried grapes. So, yeah. <laughs> I think. I mean, it may be. What else? What else could it be? In this show, it could be anything. Kill our raisins. Uh, smoking raisin. I guess if we just got into the video, we'd find out what raisins is, yeah? Uh, anyway, um, said raisins enough, I guess. Let's just get in this now and have some fun. All right, you guys, it's first down. I'll hike the ball in the third set hut. Kyle and Cartman go deep post outs. Kenny, run a slant up the middle. Butters, be ready for the screen. Right. What are we playing again? <laughs> Wouldn't have known that. Wendy breaks up. What? Wendy breaks up with you. Whoa, whoa, wait. No! Well, the Dayton? Said she still wants to be friends. Whatever, baby. Like, Stan really cares. Just get out of our football game, you stupid skank. Yeah, you stupid skunk. He's devastated. Who else is he going to vomit on? Kyle, will you go talk to Wendy for me? Why? Because I need to know why she broke up. Aw, oh, dude, come on. I got to do my science homework. Dude, please. I might still have a chance to make things work. Please just go talk to her. Oh, bless him. He's devastated. Wendy, Stan wants to know why you break up. Look, Stan is really nice. I just don't want to be boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. I've been wanting to break up for a while, but it's, it's nothing against him. Okay. She says she's been one to break up for a while and it's nothing against you. What? That's no answer. Go tell her to be more direct with me. Yeah, go. you go tell her. Pass a note. Instead of, you know, talking to them. Hey, Stan. Jimmy, will you go talk to Wendy for me? What? Just go talk to her. Yeah, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Tell her she's a continuing source of inspiration to me. Wendy. Yeah? Stan says you're a... C <laughs> you're a... Cunt. Stan says you're a... Cunt. Cunt. What's happening? Ah, ah. You're a continuing source of inspiration to him. Yes, that's what you are. A continuing source of inspiration to him, you f <laughs> I'm gonna have to delete that out. Over. I'm all out of love. <laughs> oh, the poor kid, man. Poor Stan. I say we take him to raisins. What's raisins? Happy hour all day. Oh, okay. So it's like hootas. Hey guys, welcome to raisins. Six of you? Right hey, up. it's like hootas, but with kids. Hey guys. Whoa. How are we doing this afternoon? Good. Good. I'm so glad you guys came in. Everyone in here is such a loser, but you guys seem really cool. <laughs> we are. So what can I... Uh, I've heard that one before. You look over there, Stan. That raisins girl is really cute, huh? Why don't you say hi to her? Excuse me. Hi, that is a very disturbing restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I just think he likes the food, though. Baby, you need to go talk to Wendy for me right now. <laughs> so brave. Oh my god, she's going out with talking. I got you this present. Oh wow, thanks cutie. It's a little stuffed bear dressed like a rabbit. Gosh, that's the nicest gift I've gotten all night. Thank you. <laughs> well, we gotta go, honey. Be sure to come back to Raisins and see me Oh, again, thanks, okay? it's amazing. It's the well, nicest yeah, gift I've gotten in the last three minutes. Vixen. Hang out all we want, okay? Okay. Bye, cutie. Bye, bye, darling. Oh, poor butters. You cannot say that. He's just being manipulated to spend more money on chicken or whatever it is you're buying of raisins. She's in love with somebody else. He doesn't Dude, even sound like himself. So Wendy left you for I think that's quite what small. What are you going to do? Just be miserable your whole life? There's nothing else I can do. She was my whole life. Oh, come on, dude. All you've done for the last four days is mope around. You might as well go hang out with those goth kids who dress in black and talk about pain all the time. Maybe I should. At least they would understand me. Maybe I should go hang with the goth kids. Hang with the goth kids, smart. Life is pain. Life is only pain. We're all taught to believe in happy fairy tale endings. 
but there's only blackness. Dark, depressing loneliness that eats at your soul. Maybe I should hang with the goth kids. Well, not the kids. I mean, that'd be a bit weird. I'm in my 30s. Maybe I should hang with the goth adults. It's a lot safer, do you know what I mean? My dad is such an asshole. Drunken bastard doesn't even know I exist. But then he won't let me go to the Skinny Puppy concert because my heroin addict aunt is coming over for dinner. Dinner? That's a laugh. Just an excuse for my mom to bitch at me for not wearing girly clothes like all the other Britney Spears wannabes at this school. They're all a bunch of Nazi conformist cheerleaders. <laughs> That's right, kid. If life is only pain, then what's the point of living? Just to make life more miserable for the conformists. All right, so how do I join you? If you want to be one of the nonconformists, all you have to do is dress just like us and listen to the same music we do. Ah, so by being a nonconformist, you've got to fault. Yep, yeah, I see. Yeah, I see what you're doing. I've got glasses on, so I didn't poke myself in the eye there. Now, when you take a customer's order, you need to sit down at the table with them. It makes them think you're interested. Write your name down for them and make them feel special. Oh man, I am so bored. Thank God you guys came in. If you want good tips, the most important thing is physical contact. Just a simple hold of the arm can be the difference between five and twenty dollars. I mean, imagine if it was a restaurant that was men and they were just touching women without permission. It would be like assault level, wouldn't it? But I mean, this is a cartoon and they're children, so I don't know why I even said that. But we'll we'll move on. There is darkness all around me, deep, piercing black. I cannot breathe. My heart has been raped. Whoa. That is pretty dark, to be fair, like. Daddy and I just got your birthday present! But you can't see what it is till tomorrow! You'd like to wait till I was dead, wouldn't you? You'd like to see the maggots eat my face. You are so creative, honey. Conform I mean, I've watched The Crow, do you know what I mean? So I am kind of goth. But I thought about you all day long, I promise. So how is your day going? Good, good! Hey, hey, sweetie, I was thinking tonight you could come over and we could watch The Exorcist on DVD. Oh, gee, I don't know, cutie. Why don't you just come down to Raisins? Well, I kind of don't have any money left. I, I spent it all at Raisins the last six times. Oh, that's too bad, cutie. I really want to see you. Oh. She's going to have to steal from his mom and dad. Dad, I need an advance on my allowance again. Oh, no, Butters. You got an advance two days ago. But, but I spent it all. What are you spending all that money on, Butters? Raisins. Oh, my girlfriend. Girlfriend? You have a girlfriend, Butters? Yeah. And she's a girl, right? A real one. Not a made-up one from Canada. Well, you know what I mean. You see, I told you he wouldn't turn out gay. <laughs> All right, you win. Five pound bet on that. Hey, can we get more coffee over here? Damn it, are you kids just going to sit here all night again and drink six dollars worth of coffee? Why don't you get a life? Hey, they're paying customers. Why don't you shut your face and pour the coffee? You minimum wage bint. <laughs> I say that like everybody else isn't on minimum wage. You know what I mean? Life's hard. Hey, cutie. You having a good time? Yeah. Oh, boy. I think I know what's happened. Our son hasn't learned yet that girls will pretend to like him for money. <laughs> this place is horrible to objectify girls like this. Twitch. <laughs> Not the actual Twitch, you know, like the streaming platform Twitch. Uh, Butters, can we have a little talk with you outside? Huh? Anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of Lexus. Butters, these girls pretend to be interested in you because they know you'll give them tips. Huh? You see, Butters, women know that they can make men do anything by flirting. And some girls, like these, turn that into a profession. Twitch. Oh, I see. <laughs> you don't approve of my girlfriend. Well, let me tell you. Sorry, but as I love you, I love you, brother. But you're a simp, okay? You are a little simp. What are you talking about, kid? We are not boyfriend and girlfriend. What? Lexus, what are you saying? Are you saying you don't want to be together anymore? I'm sorry, sweetie. So that's it. We're broken up now. I gotta get these curly fries to table 12. Yeah. She's got a job to do, fella. Hey, Raven, check it out. Raven. I mean, if you are called Raven, Butters? you're bound to be a bit uh -oh. it's emo. Hey, emo or there. goth? Gemo. What's the matter with you? It's a new one. Well, bit of emo, bit of goth. Gemo. <laughs> huh? But you just got dumped. Well, yeah, and I'm sad. But at the same time, I'm really happy that something can make me feel that sad. It's like, it, it, it makes me feel alive, you know? 
Sadness makes you feel alive. He's right. I don't even know who I am anymore. I like liking life a lot more than hating. You're eight, mate. I'm 37. Jesus, I don't I'm know who I am, where I am. Well, I don't know where I am, but I don't know anything else. I better learn to deal with it the right way. Hey, Wendy. You're a bitch. <laughs> Token, right here, buddy. There we are. That's it. Order's restored. Oh, dude, it's, it's good to have you back. Yeah, let's play ball. Yeah, let's play ball. So he went a bit gimo, didn't he? Um, which is now, you know, a Geordie nerd phrase. Coined it. It's, I made that up. So you are welcome. Yeah, um, very, very emo. Raisins, though. That's like a child who has. That's disturbing, man. That is, that is gross. Uh, funny, but gross. But that is South Park funny and gross. Um, yeah. R raisins and poor, poor butters. And I've said poor Stan and poor butters a lot. And I know in my accent, people love that. And I'm not doing it because people enjoy it. I'm, ge I'm genuinely, that's just what I'm thinking. It's poor him. I'm sad for butters and Stan, darling. There we go. Um, but yeah, life hurts. Life is pain. Now I'm gonna go and w watch the crow. And wear, I was gonna say we're all black, but I pretty much wear all black anyway. So yeah, I am Gimo after all. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you all again very soon for more South Park reaction videos.